What we're looking at here is the signing page and the map for what's called the Toronto Purchase, which was signed in August of 1805. Some might say that this is Toronto's uh, birth certificate. The signatures of some of the settlers here, the, and the military, the government, and then the people of the Mississaugas of the uh, credit, thanks to this treaty and the understanding that was uh, behind it, we now have the city of Toronto today. The Toronto Purchase saw more than 100 hectares of land turned over by the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for just 10 shillings. So we're looking at the shore of Lake Ontario here. That's right. And what we know as Toronto. Yep, here's the harbour, which was then described as the bay. The enlarged images of the original 1805 document will be on display for two days during the CNE, a rare up-close glimpse at an agreement that has been much debated. The argument was, well, you said you wanted this piece, and instead, you took all of this. In 1998, the Mississaugas of the Credit filed a claim against the Government of Canada relative to the 1805 Toronto Purchase Treaty. The Mississaugas contended that the Crown had unlawfully acquired more land, including the Toronto Islands, than had originally been agreed upon, and that the sum paid was not reasonable. Mississaugas went and uh, took the federal government to court that actually resulted in the proper seeding of this land and actually a fair financial settlement to the uh, Mississaugas. That was in 2010. The Government of Canada settled the Toronto Purchase claim and one other for compensation of $145 million. When you look back on something historical like that, what does it mean to you to be able to see it and, and to see those signatures? Well, you know, it's, it's a... It's an affirmation that we are the treaty holders and without the relationship of the time, even though it wasn't the best, you know, the settlement couldn't occur on this lands. So it's a foundation for us to build relationships. The document will be on display at Scatting Cabin. The Mississaugas of the Credit will also have a booth at the CNE. I'm happy that they're putting it up. I'm hoping once they see the, um, the large blow up of the of that and the signatures that they will come and find us in the booth where we have raises questions in people's mind and then hopefully they'll seek out the answers and learn more about the history of this land right well the treaty will be on display during the cne on august 20th and the 23rd but if you'd like to come down and visit the cabin it will be open every day of the cne on the cne grounds audra brown city news